Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I was gonna say let's do this shit, but then my antivirus software popped up and it said, Hey, how's it going? And I said, you know, maybe you could, uh, oh, there it goes again. Maybe you could F off for now. It's not like I have uh, an issue. It's just popping up to say, hi, remember us? We uh, keep your computer safe, presumably. Waiting for the frame rate. There we go. All right. We're due for a Lazarus run with a five win streak. It's something. Our seed is Zikatu. Zikatu. Ooh. Four R3P. R3P in Pache. Here we go. Pencil is getting worn down to the freaking graphite. Don't even be one of those people. You know the kind. Oh, it's not lead, it's graphite. Oh, I stabbed myself with my pencil. I might get uh, lead poisoning. Excuse me, pencils aren't made of lead anymore. They're made of graphite. You're the same dude who when somebody says, hey, pass me that dice, you say, oh, if it's singular, it means die. You're not wrong. You're just being kind of a douche nozzle about it, all right? You don't have to be right about everything. People just like to communicate. They don't necessarily want to, you know, have everything that they say in a casual conversation criticized for being incorrect, you know? Then when it comes time to invite people to their birthday parties, they say, hey, don't invite that guy. He's just going to say, well, actually, you know, you're technically zero when you're born and yada, yada, yada. You're, you know, whatever, dog. It doesn't matter. I love, as, as Lazarus, I love the layout of this floor. First off, big fan. You, you all know how I feel about that item. <laughs> but uh, this floor having... The, the sacrifice room with the spikes, in addition, this blood bank, means that it'd be very easy to kill myself and respawn as, uh, you know, kind of the, the Lazarus that you're actually intended to play the game as. Uh, we gotta go all the way around here if we want to have the best chance of getting out of this alive. So, it is, um, it, it's potentially a really great floor for us. No library or anything like that, but still, we're gonna get big fan and there's a... a Decent chance that we end up, you know, getting an HP upgrade or an all stats upgrade here. That would also allow me. Man, the rotation on Big Fan is so slow. But uh, an all stats upgrade or an HP upgrade that would allow me, if uh, possible, to achieve my dream of actually becoming, you know, better Lazarus on this floor. I don't love fighting this version of Gemini. I'm trying to use Big Fan to do some damage because the knockback is like the most tedious part of it, but. Um, you know, I'd rather not take damage so we can have maybe a better chance to get a blood bag from our blood bank just by having some more HP to draw from. We'll see, though. Someone on the subreddit had a great idea. They said, if you had Gemini and the scissors, you should be able to pop... Oh, that's so good. You should be able to pop Gemini. Or pop the scissors, sorry. And then Gemini would detach from you and do, like, a bunch of damage. Almost like a, uh, like a fourth level familiar. Would be so good. IV bag, huh? Let's take our pills. Are you a wizard? Paralysis. Alright, we should kill ourselves. Is it better to kill ourselves with IV bag, or is it better to kill ourselves on the spikes in here? I think on the spikes in here. Yeah, for the chance that we can get exactly what happened right there. So our HP is low temporarily. I don't think we want anything to do with that. Um, we will take IV bag with us, just in case we pick up Bloody Lust. We don't have any other space bar items, so I think we might as well. It's a very weird setup. This, this room is a little bit nerve-wracking now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's a very weird setup, but it's fine. We'll get some spirit hearts back here, and I'll pop this twice. Oh my god, we got a dime out of it. This is a, a pretty great situation. Super bandage is one of the best items you could possibly get early on as Lazarus, and everything else is just coming at Millhouse here. Big fan, good right off the start as well. So we're going to be fighting Wrath. Uh, it's in my best interest, if possible, to get Wrath to shoot a bomb down here. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Uh, it did as good. Okay, we actually did manage to get the small rock out of that. Okie dokie. Kate's playing the Evolve beta, or whatever it is called now. Rest assured, she's not being murdered in the other corner of the room. She'll be fine. She might be a monster right now, I'm not sure. Bitch, I'm a monster, no good blood sucker. That's, uh, that's Rick Ross from the monster, uh track on Kanye West, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yeah, we'll pick this. You know what? Let's crack it open, baby. Like, we're getting really good drops here, and we should have, like, pretty much a 100% chance of a deal with the devil this time. Which is B-E-A beautiful. This monster was not going to be much of a concern at all. Hopefully we can trade away some of our HP for, like, some permanent damage upgrades. But already I'm feeling like this is pretty much, like, where you want to be 
on a Lazarus run at this stage of the game. Like, it's working out pretty well. We just skipped a big room, though. Um, obviously, it would be nice for us if we could get, like, a key. <laughs> that, that could be helpful. Sure, you know, Guppy's head, why not, right? Do that one more time. Take Guppy's head with us. Takes us a little closer to becoming Guppy, but also we have the flies going on. IV bag, I mean this sincerely. Thank you very much for your help. I normally don't give you very much credit unless we're playing as Samson, but you helped out a great deal. You gave us a stupid amount of money, and I will always appreciate that. Thank you very much. So we're going to check out our shop. Uh, it's not a shop. It's a library. Now, there's no Book of Revelations in here, so it's not like we missed out in a huge uh, degree. And we probably could have bombed our way into this room, too. Let me guess. Yep. So we didn't have to use our key there. That's okay. Um, all right, we're going to go to this room then. There is a tinted rock, so I appreciate that. And that pill is like uh, paralysis, or I think it's Are You a Wizard? Are You a Wizard? Yeah. Kind of you know, desperately looking for a key so I can go to our item room maybe, but um, either way, even if we don't get the chance to go to our item room, we picked up uh, Book of Belial, which is really good. We picked up one-third of the Guppy Triumvirate. I think Book of Belial is substantially better than Guppy's... Uh, head, and I don't use that lightly because Guppy's head is an item that I oftentimes end up taking with me to the late game. Well, that's another golden chest that we have nothing to do with. Uh, it's, it is hard for me to complain about how this run is going, but I would like to be able to, you know, open up our item room and, and whatnot. I figured we would open up the shop, and then by opening up the shop, we would have a good opportunity to uh, buy another key and get an item on it, but whatever. We got 27 cents for whenever keys choose to drop. For now, let's move along here. Really can't complain at all. I figured we'd drop Are You a Wizard. Really can't complain at all about the way that this run is going. Uh, no bombs, no keys, no stopping us. Down to the next floor with some pretty high damage. One third of the Guppy Triumvirate. Good orbital that's also offensive. And uh, arguably one of the best space bar items in the game. Some people might even say the best space bar item in the game, to be honest with you. I think I could make a case that Book of Belial is the best space bar item in the game. The increased Book of Belial chance. Low charge time. I'm not saying it needs a nerf. If you're if you're listening, Ed, Tyrone, I'm not saying Book of Belial needs a nerf. It's a nice item. It's very comforting. It's like a warm glass of milk. But warm in like it's been warmed up, not just, you know, the milk's been left out of the fridge for who knows how long, but you desperately need that lactose inside of your body. More keys. I'm I'm mostly just excited that we picked up a bomb out of this. By, or sorry, that, that we picked up a key out of this. By picking up a key, we actually will be able to access Gasp, one of our special rooms. I don't know which one it's going to be. Uh, I hope that it'll be the shop so that we actually have the opportunity to maybe get shop and item room. But uh, we can we can buy whatever shop items we want thanks to our fairly liberal use of the IV bag in the early game, which was only really facilitated by the fact that we got super bandaged. Like, for all the stuff I've been saying about Book of Belial, this run, as of right now, has been facilitated by super bandage. Were it not for super bandage... Um, we would not be in nearly as good of a position. Got like a butterfly effect thing going on here. You know what? I regret that decision. <laughs> Finally got keys and now I'm like, throw them away. You know what? I am also going to go to our... Oh, so bad. You know, no, I'm not. I was going to be super lazy and just go to our item room. It is... It's beneficial for us to go to our shop. Oh my god, I walked right into it. I like blocked the Ipecac bomb. You're, where you're going nowhere. Hey, Freak Show! You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of either me or playtime. Please. Thank you. Not quite. Okay. That's alright. I can wait. Maybe like a little bit more. Okay. Oh my god. I might actually die. No, no. We're not going to die here. Don't even let that defeatist bullshit enter into your vocabulary right now. That's what I'm talking about. We'll take this. Uh, we'll take uh, Bogo Bombs. Bogo Bombs aren't that good, but we got money. So I'm going to take Bogo Bombs. Uh, and I'm also going to go to our item room now, where we're going to get Peeper's Eye, which is acceptable. Obviously, I, I mean, this is pretty par for the course right now, but uh, one of the things we're hoping for is uh, 9 lives. If you have low HP and a Guppy Precedent, or even if you don't have a Guppy Precedent, 9 lives is pretty much where you want to be. I'm a little concerned here. By the bats, not by anything, you know, else, you know, the collapse of the domestic economy or anything like that. It's all good. Just sitting here playing some video games. I can't get to that anyway, I think. Yeah. Um, this is a bit of a moment of truth. 
Our HP is starting to fall apart a little bit, just a little bit. And we will be looking for, uh, if possible, like HP upgrade, deal with the devil combo here to make this Lazarus run work. But it's looking so good right now. There really is like a high percentage chance of, uh, of this turning into a one run, which is awesome. Because if we get through this, we might luck into a decent Eden Seed. Even if we don't luck into a decent Eden Seed, we have a, uh, an okay chance to win as Eden. The thing with Eden is like, if you start with Curse of the Unknown, you just shit your pants. Because you, you don't know how much HP you have at all. You know, you could have one. I've seen it happen. Depending on the items that you get. Ooh, uh, almost dodged directly into that. Doesn't really matter too much if we take damage, but I'd rather not if it's at all possible. And our deal with the devil is a big moment. Man, that range upgrade. It shows up always at like the least opportune time. The Krampus play here is not so bad. Of course, I would rather be just getting a deal, but this is a, you know, a deal for free in some ways. Lump of coal? Lump of coal. All right, it's, it's worth taking. At nine minutes, we could move from this floor. I mean, we've already been to our item room in our shop. I think it might be in our best interest just to head down. Let's keep the dream of the boss rush alive. Sometimes that item can make the difference between life and death. Of course, we might have missed out on a number of tinted rocks in our, um, in our haste here. That's okay. Gurgling shouldn't be too much of a problem. If I could actually hit them, that would be a good start, though. Explosive diarrhea. Again, I take issue with the idea that that's a negative pill, but certainly it's not what we were looking for. Bombs are key is the... It's the be-all, end-all here. Give me seven keys. I don't need bombs. What do I need bombs for? Tinted rocks? Pfft, I'll just not get hit. Foolproof strategy. Works as the lost. Um, what we need to do is get some keys so we can enter these rooms. It's been a, a, a sore spot for us eternally on this run. Bogo bombs is, is working out very nice, especially for when we inevitably get that bombs or key pill. I don't know why, it just feels like secret rooms could be around here. Alright, well, we, we got two bombs, we wasted two bombs. I would love to go to that curse room, but it is hard to justify it when, if we go to that curse room, uh, there are some enemies that could kill us in one hit. And I really don't want this run to end like that. <laughs> oh, now there's like two pennies trapped in there. It's still not worth a bomb to get them out as far as I'm concerned, but that was funny. I was trying to catch it, and uh, I'd say I missed uh, pretty magnanimously there. There we go. I was, I was just going to say, I think that the, the gray champions drop keys. Oh, that's the good stuff. All right. Now, we're also going to get a spirit heart right here, which is a big get for us. Oh, why would you come chase me down when I got big fan? It's just a recipe for disaster. I hope you got an appetite for destruction. Now, we should be able to uh, go to our item room. Last one, not that amazing. Can't really feel confident about doing that one right there. This is almost Book of Belial worthy as far as I'm concerned, but our damage is decent enough that we don't necessarily have to do so. 11 bombs is good stuff. What I'm mostly concerned about is like, getting distracted by my own commentary. That sounds like I'm so full of myself, but no, I, you know, sometimes I just start talking about bullshit and I forget about what's happening, what's actually happening in the game. You know, you've, you've seen it happen before, I'm sure, you know, you get on autopilot and stuff like that, but um, I'm hoping, I'm gonna try to do my damnedest to, to maintain focus here because I really don't wanna leave a Curse of the Lost Floor without going to our shop or our item room, or with both, preferably. So we've already been nowhere. We still need to go shop an item room, so just remember that. That is some shit damage right there. That is a shit sandwich of damage. I was very stupid. Is that uh, no special rooms, huh? I guess we're just going to fight our boss and not get hit. It is regular Gertie. So we do have a two-hit window here, which is, is better than it could have been. We also got another key back there. So with Book of Belial, you know, Lump of Coal, Peeper's Eye, doing some damage. I appreciate it. It's the nubs we have to watch out for, because I think some of those nubs can shoot an occasional shot that's a little bigger, like Monstro, and does one full heart of damage. Apart from that, all we have to do is not get hit twice. If we get hit twice against Gertie with this kind of damage, we deserve whatever we get, as far as I'm concerned. But we are, you know, we're playing with fire right here. Another range upgrade! You gotta be kidding me. Spirit hearts. Okay. Ah, Guppy's Collar, so that's a chance to come back to life. And also, um, two-thirds of the Guppy Triumvirate now. But we, we really only have a 50% chance of coming back to life. So we still need to not get hit. The next hit that we take could be a 50% chance of ending our, our streak here. 
we already been all the way up and around here? I don't care about our time anymore. And the most important thing by far is just that we live through this floor. Because with Book of Belial, we have a, an absolutely fantastic chance of getting uh, our guppy dreams to come true. And if we become guppy, I know it happens all the time, but if we become guppy, that's, that's great news for us. I think I'm going to blow this up. Balls of steel? Oh, okay, Hematomesis is actually like pretty good for us in this situation as well. Just try not to accidentally kill yourself, and we'll pick up another three cents, which is okay. And we've got to be coming close to a special room at some point. Well, we can definitely go to our uh, boss trap room. Fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secrets of the Ooze enemies. I hate them. Yeah, we'll probably take advantage of that. We're gonna have to fight two bosses though. Do we wanna do it right now? It's a bit of a bit of a tall order. Safety cap is something. Let's do it. We'll start with the red chest. Ah, it's just a live bomb! We got so lucky I dodged right through an enemy. And I I lived, to tell the tale. Chubb just likes smoke in case you were wondering, so. Um we might want to use a bomb against him. Are you a wizard, huh? How about, are you fucking kidding me? Can you just give me a better pill? I probably should have been hit there. I wasn't even really focusing on Chubb. It's all right. The damage is real. Who comes next? It's not Mega Ma. It's the other one. Peep? Yeah, Peep. We can do. We can do this. Sorry, we'll stand as far away as is possible. Picked up a lot of consumables over the course of this fight. How do I feel about that? Hey, um... Good, I guess. Which one is Peeper's eye? Which one is Peep's eye? Okay, so the little, the tinier pupils are Peep's eye. So the big pupil, we can, we can stay away from, or we can, we can get close to if we have to. But anyway, we got through that just fine. Obviously, this is a little bit of a harrowing situation. That's okay. That's it right there. Full health, baby. Took us from one to one. All right. Again. An incredibly big moment for the uh, context of the run here. I don't mind being on low HP, especially with the. 50% chance that we come back to life. Spider Baby is not good for us in our current situation because we only spawn the spiders when we get hit. I finally have <laughs> realized the difference between Spider Baby, Infestation 2, and Sissy Long Legs. What about this pill? Paralysis, man. Not the greatest pill rotation for us. So PhD for sure. Spirit Heart for sure. Pheromones. Man, are you kidding me with this stuff? Uh, anyway, this is great. Because it does mean that um, all pills will be good. Plus, we got it for half price. I'm just I'm trying to see if we actually have any genuinely good pills. But it seems like we have those pills that are like, you know, wink, wink, they're good. Could play our blood bank one more time. Might not be the worst idea in the world. But uh, it seems like we're kind of just in, in survival mode for another floor here until we hopefully get nine lives maybe on the next floor. Lemon Party. Pheromones. Lemon Party is well worth the bomb. Trying to see if we can get like a health upgrade pill or something out of these considering we do have safety cap plus PhD. We should have a pretty good chance of pills showing up. You gotta be absolutely fucking kidding me. Wow. Okay, well Lemon Party is something. It's something, all right. We'll head down to the next floor and we still have enough spirit arts to keep us alive, but the clock is ticking a little bit for this uh, being a a winnable run. I so often take damage on this room. Don't fuck it up now. Yeah, we got no HP left. Uh, it's not worth risking walking on the spikes to get those bombs as far as I'm concerned. And uh, this is not to say we're even in that bad of a position. It's just a position that is a little harrowing right now. Again, with so many enemies that could kill us in one hit as well. I'm strangely relatively confident, which might make no sense. I got fairly lucky to be able to dodge between the uh, neutral flies there. They're not really neutral, are they? They're pretty much firmly on the side of the enemy. Now we're definitely one hit away from death. One hit away from a guppy's uh, collar revival is what I meant to say. How do you think I feel about that one? Not so good. Okay. 
Oh, you're a, you're very clever, Demon Judgment. Magic Fingers is not what I'm looking for. Oh, that is potentially an enormous get for me. I can't remember if... No, the secret room shouldn't be there. I was like, were those bridges there normally or what? Safety cap. Hook me the fudge up. Our item room being shitty scares the hell out of me. But we really only need, again, like a guppy item. If we can get that guppy item, who knows. So I'm, I'm bombing these as a desperation play. <laughs> In the hopes of getting um, some black hearts, basically. Tarot cards like the hero font would be also extremely desirable. You drop a key? I could use that key, yeah. I guess like the, the great champions always drop keys. Bombs are out of control. Um, Peeper's Eye no longer pushes bombs out of the way. That's very, very nice. Haha, <laughs> don't do that dodge like I did. Now, fighting Greed, honestly, might not be that much harder than our other rooms, but I'm going to pop Book of Belial on it anyway, just to be sure. I would hate to lose a run to Greed at this point. Nothing symbolic about that. This is a great run. 29 cents. Well, it's not a great run, but it has the potential to still be a great run. With 29 cents, uh, we'll definitely be looking to get some good stuff from our shop, especially now that we know that it can't have greed inside of it. That extra half red heart might be more meaningful than, than any of us know right now. That's nah, not worth it. Because um, I, I might be able to use that to get one extra play on the Demon with Judgment, and that could pay out with Contract from Below or something. Rarely does it pay out with, like, Death's Touch. I don't know if it can actually even pay out with those, but if it could... I would be the first to sign up for that uh, loyalty program. No spirit hearts, but a pill. Balls of steel. Oh, it happened. It happened. We're gonna live. Now, don't let that let you go soft. Oh, that was that's going soft a little bit there. We were uh, we were doing well because we were being vigilant. Continue to be vigilant. This is an old school room, straight out of vanilla. Crazy motherfucker named Lazarus. We do want to go to the curse room. Oh, we do. But I can't justify it yet. Maybe if there's an eternal, or sorry, a spirit heart in our shop, I'll, I'll be able to, you know, I'll ask the management, I'll ask finance if they'll hook us up. I think they will. Strength card. Decent. So I think at this point, normally I stay away from Broken Stopwatch, Ugh. but I think we have to take it, even though it will speed some enemies up. We bought a Spirit Heart, now this is a little risky, but the chance of becoming Guppy exists. Black Candle, hey, we're, we're gonna break even here, and no curses in the future. Not only did we break even, but we replaced our Spirit Heart with a Black Heart, and uh, we're gonna have no curses in the future. And the Evil Up, I don't know. I don't know if that gives us a better deal with the Devil Chance than we already have with Book of Belial giving us a 100% chance anyway, so it's it's all academic, I guess. Hmm. A pill we can't access? That might be Balls of Steel. Well, then now I'm really going to want to become Guppy, so I can fly and get that. I'm being a little facetious. We would want to become Guppy either way. All right. Big moment. That was a that was a fast room. So we can save the Strength card. Loki is, you know, one of the easiest bosses you can fight at this point in the game for sure. The, the real enemy here is not Loki, it's the the gray kind of spiky thing. As always, I know I have a the audience that I do because I'm incredibly articulate. That's why I said gray uh, kind of spiky thing. Toothpicks. Still no HP, that would be too easy. But uh, certainly the guppy dream exists. Now, I would love to be able to buy mom's knife. Would this kill us? Pop the strength card. Get guppy's tail then buy mom's knife, then leave. We lived! <laughs> I'm a genius! Okay. Uh, this is this is now... Oh, it's pheromones, not even balls of steel. This is big. Um, we're, we're obviously not going to be doing anything about uh, boss rush on this run. It's not just big, this is huge. We're not going to be playing the demon judgment either. Our damage should now be acceptable. Our... Uh, we're guppy. That's a big one. And our uh, fly generation will be awesome. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't classify this as a guaranteed win, just because our HP is so bad. I don't I don't care about permanent Polaroid invincibility. Just give me some fucking HP. 
Now, I believe that we won't really spawn that many, uh, flies as a result of Mom's knife not interacting well with Guppy. If we could get, like, a demon baby, that would help, but mostly, just need to keep ourselves alive. This is looking like a conceivably victorious Lazarus run. With 19 bombs, I think we should really take the opportunity to look for, uh... A lot of various possible benefits for ourselves here. There's a spirit heart. That helps. Uh, that's definitely not gonna be a secret room. Don't do what I did there. I, I even think we should shoot all the fire. It does have a chance to pay out with spirit hearts. It seems to do it at the most opportune moments. Sometimes the game works out in your favor. Not that time, that's okay. That strength card play, um, I didn't think it would be possible. Again, it might be a bad thing because we don't spawn as many flies, but I think it's a great thing. Red chests. Uh, okay, I'll open it. Why red chests, now that I've become guppy? I, I still just need the spirit hearts. But safety cap, plus PhD, knowing there's a lump of coal in our system. Uh, I could have dropped a lump of coal from my system in the toilet this morning, but... Now, knowing there's a, a, a lump of coal, or a PhD... Psh, balls of steel pill in our rotation, there we go. It's, uh, it's a big play for us. Not lump of coal, balls of steel. It's the of in the middle. Whore Babylon, lump of coal, balls of steel. I get all three confused on a semi-regular basis to the point where people question my uh, neurological health. Pills? Spirit hearts? I can see forever. That's alright. It's better than pheromones, I think. And inside of here, well, we got a lemon party pill. The onk. Okay. Survivability is, is probably a lot better now. The I can see forever pill, you know, useful for, for future floors. And also, you know, our existing floor. I'm gonna blow you up just because we can, and you never know if these mushrooms, or... Oh, we actually got both mushrooms, I didn't expect that. But you never know if those mushrooms are gonna pay out with something worthwhile. I don't really want to crack that. I think our, uh, you know, our shop is potentially useful. If only for the spirit heart at this point. I don't want to kill you like this because you're gonna shoot a bullet. That was a rare moment of uh, me actually being kind of intelligent about killing an enemy. I'm not trying to sandbag, oh, I suck at Isaac. Oh, I don't think I'm going to win because I suck at Isaac. No, 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 no. I'm just surprised because I stood right next to it and then was like, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not today. So it's a double key room, but let's see what's going on in our shop. There is a nun's habit. And if we get one more cent, I would buy the, um, the pills. Hey, there we go. Normally, I much prefer starter deck. And I think starter deck is a lot better, but... Um, we, since we can take two pills with us, we can go back for that lemon party pill. I don't think it's that important. We definitely don't want, like, paralysis, but, you know, I don't think there's much impetus. Oh, jeez, we got out of it for us to go back for it. So this is, it's starting to shape up like a good one here. Um, oh, you know what? This might actually be great, because now all skulls, instead of paying out with the chance of tarot cards, they'll pay out with the chance of, uh, pills. Which we can then take with us. So let's let's give this a try right here. Plus the chance for black hearts as well. Hematomesis. Well, the, the hematomesis pill is better than the paralysis pill for us. Have we been to our item room? We have. You never know, if we get like Dark Bum or something like that, hematomesis could give us a nice head start. That was the dumbest dodge of all time, trying to be way too aggressive on an enemy that if we just stood back, we would kill them so easily, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, yeah. Let's just go. I'm ready. Mom fight, plus Book of Belial. Doing some decent damage. Yeah, yeah, doing some very decent damage. As I turn into, a you know, character from the TV show Fargo. We do, especially now, want the pentagram. Um, missing page two, take it or leave it. We are going to get an HP upgrade for finishing this floor, though. Alright, I'm starting to feel more confident about things. I had a feeling that if we just kind of toughed it out, we'd manage to make this one work. Or we'd manage to make this one work, and it seems like that is, is looking pretty good. Two hematomesis pills is really like, you know, let's hope we get Dark Bum. I'd rather have two hematomesis pills than explosive diarrhea, at least, at least when we have some decent bombs already. Double pin fight, or sorry, double uh, dingle fight here is super easy with the damage that we're doing, at least. Does the mulligan work with Mom's Knife? Is it just a guppy thing, or is it a is it a fly generation thing in general? Ah, slow enemies. I like you. 
Can't open that. Go Did we get Guppy's Tail? Is that one of them? Yeah, we, we must have gotten Guppy's Tail. What? <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. Uh, amazingly, despite the models on these rocks, no tinted rocks in there. Which is a little bit of a surprise to me, considering there were like 15 rocks. This is like the most boring kind of win to some extent, because, you know, it's Mom's Knife. Is that Balls? No, it's Pheromones. I should have known that again. Um, it's, it's Mom's Knife Guppy. Oh, it's a guaranteed win, but... Man, we worked our, or we didn't really work so much as we sweated our ass off to get here. Were it not for, uh, were it not for that Book of Belial pickup, we would be in a much more dangerous position because we would have missed out on a couple deals with the devil. We might not have Guppy or Mom's Knife here. And were it not for the Strength card, we would, we would be Guppy, but we wouldn't have very much damage. Although we might have been able to pick up the Pentagram anyway, if we'd lived that long, which was questionable. I mean, I knew there were four of you. Finally starting to remember how many Wallmasters show up. Mm, can't open that yet. When we get over four keys, we'll consider it, but for now, we cannot. Hey, don't do that. All right, again, this is the Dark Bomb Corridor here. Oh, this could be good. Are you a wizard? Balls of Steel, that's the color of the pill that we want. Range up. And then the rest of these are Paralysis and Hematomesis. That's all right. We got Balls of Steel out of it. That's big. Death for a one <laughs> level one meat boy probably at just the right time. Really gonna tie this run together. At least you didn't spawn anything at all, really. Why? Why let yourself get hit there? Just a total waste. Doesn't really matter whether we got ball of bandages or cube of meat, so I'm happy. Um Honestly, I think we can go dark matter here, even though it does take one HP. Puts us in permanent spirit hardened, permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is very important with some orbitals, which we have, and Mom's Knife, which we have. And um, it gives us a damage upgrade, and basically I would trade my firstborn child that doesn't exist yet for a damage upgrade. I gotta stop making these, like, children analogies. Everyone thinks that, like, Kate's pregnant. So they got kind of uncomfortable because Kate was having, like, a some serious abdominal pain at one point, and we're like, well, we've been to the hospital a lot lately, you know, hope it's okay, and then people were like, Kate's pregnant, and we're like, nah, we're worried she has, like, something serious, and, you know, it's distressing to get these tweets like, oh, are you pregnant? Oh, welcome the little, the little northern line into the world, and instead we're like, man, I hope she doesn't have, like, you know, nephrotic failure or something like that, uh, you know, like, a serious kidney disease. Turns out it was just maybe kidney stones, or maybe just nothing at all. But, you know, if you got kidney stones, you don't want people tweeting at you being like, Oh, how's the little bundle of joy coming along? You're like, you know, calcified and inside of my uh, nephrons right now. Anyway. I hope that I will never have to deal with kidney stones. I'm feeling pretty good about my lack of, of kidney stone ability because I actually drink, a, like, a disgusting amount of water. It all started when I was in, um... When I was in university, I, I had a summer job, which I hated. So I would actually... I will get rid of one of these hematomesis pills to take this. So, in order to have like a slight bit of rebellion, the most Canadian bit of rebellion against my job and my, my lot in life, I started drinking like a lot of water, like, like gallons and gallons and gallons of water a day while at work. And then, about every, you know, 45 minutes, I'd be able to take a, a three-minute break to go to the bathroom. Because I was, it wasn't like a retail job, I could leave my station and, you know, just go to the bathroom whenever I wanted. So basically, I, I was like, over the course of like a whole summer, I probably got like an extra hour of breaks just by drinking a bunch of water. But anyway, so it all started back then, and now I'm just, yeah, this is not a good room for me. Now I'm just addicted to it, and I just, uh... I mean, I'm not addicted to it. Like, addiction is like a real thing. I just drink a lot of water. That sounds like something an addict would say, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that that protects me against kidney stones and, you know, keeps the pipes clean, as it were. Why do we have two lives? Oh, the Ankh. Okay. I was like, I mean, I'm happy to have them, but I was a little confused. We should probably play that to get some spirit hearts, huh? Maybe a better trinket, although some of the pills have been all right. That's not a better trinket. You know, people, whenever you say anything about the way that you treat your body, people go, oh, that's not a good idea. Mmm. When I was, like, running long distances, people were like, yeah, you know, it's good for your heart, but your knees in 20 years, your knees are going to be bad. I'm like, yeah, no matter what you can do, you can find a way to spin it badly. I guarantee that after I said I drink a lot of water, people are going to be like, 
And now there was that lady who held her urine in for so long, she drank too much water, and she tried to win a Nintendo Wii, and she ended up dying. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not in a contest to win a Nintendo Wii right now. It's all right. What do you think? Demon's Tail or... Um, Safety cap. I kind of, I kind of want to keep going with safety cap because we have PhD. But Demon's Tail might be better, admittedly. Like a lot better. Uh, wait a minute. 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 Wait. Sixty exact seconds. What if we come back here? Let's test something, shall we? America's test kitchen right here. Demon's Tail. Hematomis. Okay. Well. <laughs> I was like, if this drops four black hearts, I'm in the clear, man. Oh well, that's okay. All we need is like a couple of balls of steel pills out of uh, safety cap, or presumably out of safety cap, and then I'll be like, yeah, I made the right decision, even though Demon's Tail might keep me flush with, um... Oh, we can actually start opening golden chests. I'm not gonna go back, though. I've already taken long enough on this floor. Um, yeah, even though Demon's Tail could conceivably keep me, like, way in the clear when it comes to uh, black hearts, but who knows. Are you a wizard? No, I am not. Did we oh, we did get rid of our hematomesis pills, so... We have I Can See Forever, which will pop on the cathedral. Yeah, we can open this one. Oh, I'm glad I chose this one. Infamy has the potential to save enough damage to, to win a run. If we need it to. Hopefully we don't. Cursed Skull. One of my favorite looking trinkets, just because it looks like a cute little derpy skull, but... Uh, Okay, Goathead we did not need. And now I'm one key uh, in deficit, but that's okay. That's okay. Just walk into you. If there's any enemy it's relatively safe to walk into, it would be these turrets. But now, we can be relatively content knowing Mom will die right now. That was actually a ton of damage. Alright, so it's up to the next floor. I can see forever, and I think that we're probably going to be saying that this Lazarus run is going to go down as a win. That's good stuff. All we gotta do is make it around to Judas. Now, I don't wanna get too cocky yet, because we still, you know, our HP is still awful. But, we're stacking it up. Pheromones... Helps... <laughs> slightly, on a room like this, you know. Make these guys shoot at each other, that sped things up just a little bit. A random red chest. I bet Demon's Tail would've turned that, uh... Oh, that's Balls of Steel? No, it's I Can See Forever again. That's still good, but... Uh, I bet Demon's Tail would have turned that red heart into a black heart. You're not really pulling your weight right now, Safety Cap. And Safety Cap's like, fuck you, look at all these secret rooms I'm giving you. I don't, what do I care about secret rooms right now? Do I look like some kind of, uh... You, do I look like, uh, I'm trying to map the shape of my house like I'm in Mark Z. Danielewski's House of Leaves? How does Tammy's head work in our situation right now? Shoots out a bunch of knives. Are these knives good? I think we've had this synergy on multiple occasions, and every time I end up being disappointed. But I, I don't want to test it on a big room. I want to test it on a small room. We have a slightly better chance of maybe hitting enemies with it and seeing how much damage it does. That's, uh, I can see forever again. I don't think we need two of those, considering there's only one floor left. I... It's okay. I don't know. Book of Belial's probably better, but we don't get any devil deals out of it anymore. And Tammy's head... Oh, if we could get some, some more good stuff, Tammy's head... Oh... We could just get some good stuff out of Tammy's head. Oh, some synergies. Good news, cigarette juice. No. Um, I'm, I'm still on the fence. Like, even that was not enough to kill an enemy. You know what? I'm going to go with it, even though Book of Bilal is so nice. It, it really is. It's a nice item. I'm going to go with this because I believe... That it can, it can provide us with the value that we need. Especially if you can get close to an enemy and then pop it. Although with Lump of Coal, we might want to stand further away. But we can hit them with more shots if we're further away. And also, Tammy's head seems to, inter or, uh, yeah, it seems to interact very nicely with, uh, with the guppy items. Thereby producing more flies, hopefully. Either way, it's just weird. So, I'll I don't care. We should be fine. And I, I, I hate getting rid of Tammy's head. This is probably... Strategically the wrong decision, but I hate getting rid of Tammy's head because I love Tammy's head and Tammy's head always burns you when you get rid of it What if we get chocolate milk or something like that? I, I would love chocolate milk. That's what we need here Shoot out some super high damage flies um, That would be really nice if we use Book of Belial. We'd be able to use it like once every room Okay, that might be enough for me to go back for Book of Belial to be honest with you because we have the 9-volt, do we not? 
I thought we had the, even if we don't have the 9 volt, being able to use Book of Belial every second room is actually extremely meaningful for us uh, from the perspective of trying to, you know, win the game and stuff like that here, which is on my uh, radar, you know? So, let's uh, move it A and along. Let's move it along. Let's move it along, long, 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 long. Well, we'll see if we have 9 volt. Just right here. We do not. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> do I have nuns have it? Maybe I have nuns have it. Either way, still, every two rooms we can use Book of Belial. That's pretty exciting. So goodbye safety cab. Yeah, there we go. I'm not going to use Lemon Party because I don't want to get close. I'm sorry, Tammy said. I would love to take you, Tammy said, but you just, you know, we gave you a try. You didn't pull your freaking weight. The knives that you shoot are not good enough. Now Isaac can fly, so better we can do with this. By the way, if you're wondering, how do you make Mom's knife work well? I see a lot of people, they get a fully charged Mom's knife. They try to take a shot, it goes, it hits the enemy, goes right through them, shoots way beyond them, past the horizon, and comes back. The best Mom's knife tip that I can give you is don't worry about getting, like, a, a long charge. Your ideal... This is kind of shitty. Especially blank card in this situation. Uh, it doesn't work with pills. But, um, your ideal use of mom's knife is basically just to hit them as many times as possible uh, with one charge. So you really want to try to keep mom's knife in the middle of the enemy. Instead of charging it up all the way, you should just, uh, you know, try to hit the enemy, like, at their midpoint and keep it there. And you can do some kind of creative dodges in order to make that happen as well. Anyway, this is going to be a one run, which means our Eden run is the next one that kind of scares me. But if we get a good Eden run or we get good Eden items... Then we should have uh, a very good chance of making this streak happen. All we got to do is win all the way through to Judas, which means our last run would be a cane run. Ah! <laughs> We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I can't believe that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we should have popped this ages ago. That was good. That was funny. I can't believe we didn't get hit by those guys. And now I'm like in exactly the same position on these guys. That's all right, though. Which one's my creep? Which one's their creep? It don't matter. We can fly. Which one's their creep? Which one's my creep? It don't matter. We can fly. I know how to speak proper English, just deliberately doing it badly. I know how to speak proper English, just deliberately doing it badly. If you judge somebody by their grammar, you might be kind of a douchebag. Judge people by their actions, not their choice of diction, you dickhead. There you go. There you go now. That's the end of the song. All right. Good life lessons. We have too many life lessons for kids that are like, brush your teeth. Up like a rocket, down like a rain, back and forth like uh, the choo-choo train, you know? We don't need that. We need more like, you know, don't be an asshole. That's a really good rule. If you can get around. Now, I'm an asshole, so everybody's an asshole sometimes, because sometimes it just feels good. That's the thing nobody's going to tell you, right? Sometimes it feels good to be an asshole. But you should not be an asshole, because it makes you an asshole. It's like that Team America speech from the end, well, the speech from the end of Team America. Surprisingly true, you know? I've forgotten the words, so I'm not going to say it, but hey. You can go look it up for yourself. Just Google it. Speech from end of Team America. I mean, I'm not even excited about these pickups, which makes me sound like I'm being ungrateful, but uh, the truth of the matter is this has been a one run for a little while now, so uh, it's hard to get me too excited. But hey, a Death's Touch pickup gives us more damage. Do you see how quickly we went through that enemy without even having Book of Belial active? Blue Baby doesn't stand a GD chance here. There we go. Decent plays. Want to be able to fire on Blue Baby as many times as possible. Oh, that was a good one. And a relatively easy run that's going to push our win streak to six. Excuse me. And uh, one more it means we're going around the horn here and getting back to Isaac. So we'll be playing as Eden next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, you know. I'll <laughs> see you then.